Hey YouTubers, welcome back for another adventure. We're still working on the Sunel um, off-road go-kart. And just something quick. Let's say you have an ignition system that looks like that. And you look at that and you say, oh man, I just don't want to play with that. Let's say there's a really cheap and easy way to get around that ignition system. A complete and total renewal. And that's easy enough to do. Um, as you look up, look at that completely destroyed ignition system, you just really have to identify one bond, bundle of wires. And as I move it down there, I think I'm showing it to you. See how that goes back behind the flywheel? So you identify that batch of wires, and you'll notice a red black, um, a blue white and green. Um, so you notice those wires and you go, well, I have some of the basics here. What do I need to do to get it run? You just go to your friends at eBay and you buy one of these $13.50 kits and it comes with everything. Right? And this one's from Per Mile. It takes about a month to get these, believe it or not. It does take a little while. Right? They come from uh, China. But you get the CDI, the wire harness, the little push button thing, the coil, the whole shoot match. And I have everything just as it is. And I just, you know, plugged, plugged the CDI in, right? You see it right there. And I plugged in the stop button. See it right there? Really can't do it wrong. Right? Um, and I plugged in the coil. Where's the coil? Some of these things I kind of over the side anyway yeah see the coil is right here and the two wires right green and black and yellow so you just plug everything into the harness like you're supposed to and then where the where the pit bike harness would plug into the cable behind the um, that comes from behind the uh, flywheel once again, you hook up the green wire, you hook up the red-black wire, you hook up the blue-white, and now you have an ignition system. And with this really fancy push button, right, you can even turn it on and off now. So, I set it all up, and I adjusted the idle, and let's see how she does. So there we go, right, it's running right on the $13 pit bike ignition system, $13.50, um, everything's good, the only thing you have to figure out is where you're going to put this so that as you're driving it you can shut it down, I guess, just to make it so that if I'm driving, you know, I got to do something, you know, the, the pedal sticks or whatever. That simple. So, that's how you could get around your completely destroyed ignition system. I do not recommend using your jump starter as the way of uh, getting your engine running because dumb little things could happen, like you hop on this thing all happy and you start running down the road with it and you get about a half mile from home the engine stalls for whatever reason maybe a reason like Harvey forgot to put gas in it and then you got to push this thing home so here you are pushing this you know 500 pound go-kart 600 pound go-kart along a, a road right not not really doesn't go under the word of clever so um, I recommend getting the rest of your ignition system going but the rest of your ignition system might be fine, right? It might start, it might charge, it might do everything. It might be just the um, just the ignition part is hacked up. Um, when it when it comes to what am I going to do with this, I'm going to use probably the pit bike harness as I am. I'm going to swap out this particular CDI. For, it's called the four pin DC one it runs on power from the battery 
I'm gonna get the battery into this thing so that I can turn the key. This is one of those um, switches that, um, that does not have the ability to turn this off. What it does is um, power comes up to the switch, you turn it to one click, it puts battery power to everything, and the second click is you actually engage the starter. There were no terminals in there to uh, turn off an engine. So, uh, given that, I'm going to go with the uh, DC CDI so that when I turn it on one click, oops, forget that. When I turn that on one click, it powers up everything, including the CDI. The second click engages the starter. Once it starts, you let it go back to the first click, um, right? You just release it, right? It's spring. Um, loaded and um, the engines running and then when I turn off the key that'll turn off power to the CDI and the engine will stop running so that's where I'm gonna go with this thing um, but before I could do that I really need to get through this and uh, and get it cleaned up I mean this thing is just is just a wreck um, what my new ignition system is going to have, obviously it's going to make it so the thing will run and all that, but I'm not sure, I don't see, believe it, I just, I'm not seeing any interlocks on this engine. So I think it will start in forward and reverse, it'll, well, you give it gas, you're going forward, but I think it'll start in any, any gear. Um, so far, I have not used the choke, the electronic choke. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with this. Um, so, um, yeah, I'm not positive what I'm going to do with that. Whether I'm just going to run a push button up to the dash so you, when I want the choke, I'll turn the key on and push the button. It'll pull the plunger out, which richens the mixture. You give it a try to start it. Um, let go of the button. Hopefully the plunger closes. It doesn't flood, and we're all good. So probably that's what I'm going to do. That's that's another whole, whole thing to mess with. All right. So anyhow... Um, so for $13.50, you guys could all fix your um, destroyed ignition system. You could basically replace it with something much simpler, right? This is the ignition system now. That's all there is. Everything to uh, the right. Um, you're not using any of the stuff to the left. Okay, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video. I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing. You know how to tell me you liked it, and you know how to tell me you don't. So, anyway, bye now, folks.